your, your black jobs, you got a lot of black jobs in the federal government. And they have said, that's the biggest part to me, like, I'm not going to go through the rest of it because I, I took out a lot of clips, but the biggest part to me is the personnel part and Army because they're saying, look, we're getting rid of all these regulations. Now, now, understand that a lot of these regulations, these regulations have existed throughout Democratic and Republican administrations. It's only this group of people, the Heritage Foundation, that has said, we want to take these regulations out. Right? That we want to, we're going to, we're going to, Personnel is normally you lead you you know you get rid of who's at the top and some of the and core people you transition those people out every four years but you don't transition out the whole thing those are career people well understand what they're saying is like no we're gonna hollow it out because we believe the people who are in this administration who are at these uh, Department of Housing Justice all this stuff we believe that those people right are in the way of of expediting our agenda because of their pesky rules and regulations and lawyers. That's what this looks like to me. Now, if anybody has a kind of alternate view of what this is, I would love to hear it. I'm not, listen, I, I'm always open to disagreement or whatever, but that's what it looks like to me. My biggest problem is that where, where are we? Right? Where, where are we in terms of, in terms of our advocacy? We have organizations that say that there are premier civil rights organizations, but does, they don't even have a specific agenda. Take do, do yourself a favor. Go around sometimes and look at these organizations that claim to be black or ADOS organizations and look at their agendas. And I want you to then go and compare it to Project 2025. You can pull up Project 2025 on your phone. I want you to compare what, we, what they have to what we have. Listen, most of these people don't even have an agenda that uh, don't even have an ADOS agenda. And we just got started. What we get started, like 2020? Like, they don't even have that. And they've been around decades. We have not been playing serious in terms of how these people are organizing the advocacy, the agenda of our people. We have not been playing serious. And the Democrats have been just chasing Republicans. And that ain't going to work. That's a dog that don't hunt no more. I don't, know how, I don't know how else to say it. I don't know how else to do it. I don't know how else to put it forth. These people have always been trying to defund the government, and my people don't even understand the need for government. <laughs> what? Like, what you going to do with that? You don't understand the need of government. You don't understand why, like, it was time to turn the tide in terms of how the Democrats were doing and what they were doing to us. Oh, that you a Democratic shield. No, this group owes us. Do you know how long we've been voting Democrat? Do you know how much, do you know, do you know how long we've been the base of this party? Do you know what they owe us? And you telling me that makes a, to say you owe us and say here's the receipt, pay us, that makes somebody a shield. You didn't pass ninth grade civics. And like that's a problem. So there's some things, there's some, there's some gaps in your learning, you know, but that's a problem. And that those people who who had all the crit, they don't have an agenda either. They just somewhat sitting somewhere with their thumb up their butt. Talking about, I don't know, I don't know. I, ain't, I don't know too much about it. I bet you don't. I bet you don't. I bet you don't know nothing about it. Too, too, you don't know too much about it is an understatement. I bet you don't. I bet you don't know nothing. I bet you don't know nothing about none of this and nothing that ever happened before this. You have to make the, you have to make the case to America, Democrats, that big government works, that, that, that it protects people. You have to be able to make that case. And people piss them off. I don't like big government. Well, you don't like reparations either, then. Because <laughs> you're not going to get reparations out of small government. <laughs> I don't know what you thought that was. If they kill government, what do you think that, you, do you think that leads to that? Like, right, how? Like, where? <sighs> Whew. Anyway, fam, let me, let me, I'm, I'm going to go to the phones. I want y'all to be able to have, if you have something to add to be able to say that, give me a few minutes to set that up. I will be back and I'm, let's have a conversation. 